Okay, I've done a little bit of work here um, with my carving tool, and I've just taken it like this and carved out a design. Um, but I feel like maybe this could use a little higher of an area so this all looks like it sticks out. And I don't want to add a whole triangle onto here. What I want to do is just add the edges. So we'll take a look at what this looks like. And maybe I want to stick with what I did here. Um, you know, I'm trying a bunch of different things for you so that you can see what they look like. I would definitely stick with one and I wouldn't do this to my entire pot. Okay, again, make sure you scratch and attach. Get a lot of slip on there. And sometimes I go back through and make that slip kind of like a mud pile. Mud puddle. You want to make a mud puddle. So go back through and really make sure there's slip on there and really make sure that it's not that clay is soft where you're gonna attach it. You don't want that clay to be hard. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is roll a coil. So I have my little coil roll and I'm gonna flatten it out. Just like this. And then I'm gonna take it, score it, score this side. This one isn't quite as important because it is soft. I'm gonna put some slip on there. So the slip bridges the gap between the dry clay and the soft clay. Okay, you don't want that to, to forget that part. So it's on here, I'm gonna cut it. And then what I'm gonna do is use a little bit of water, smooth it in, and I'm gonna smooth just this one side. And it's a little messy along here, but just that one side now makes it look like this whole area sticks up. And so now I can do it to the other side. Again, you guys are gonna be working on the wheel while you're working on these. And so for some of you, this surface is just gonna, it's gonna take, I don't know, five days maybe to get it looking the way that you want to. And then we'll also be working on the wheel. Okay, I just want you to see what this other one's gonna look like. So I'm gonna put this on here like this. I'll probably cut it out and add another one up there. Bring it down here. Okay, just cut it like that and I'm gonna blend it in. And then blend it in like this. Now this is gonna take a little bit of work to make it look good. Sometimes I use my fingernail, sometimes I'll use a rib. You know, you could use the shredder after it starts to get hard. But to go through and have these different levels on your pot really adds to the whole piece. Okay, in the next video, we will talk about actually adding pieces that stick out onto your pot.